Hello and welcome to STEM Club. In this STEM Club, we're looking at impact craters. And these are just like the ones you might see on the moon. However, this is a really easy experiment for you to do at home. This experiment is really simple because all you'll need is a tray with some flour, some balls, some rulers to measure the height you drop from. You might also like to use some shaving foam and I've got another tray to try that out later. First thing you want to do is give your tray a nice gentle shake so you've got a nice smooth surface. You could even use, I'm just going to use my ruler to flatten it out even further so I've got a really nice flat surface. And then, so this is like the surface of the moon, then all you need to do is get a ball and drop it onto your moon surface. This is just like a rock flying through space and then getting pulled in by the moon's gravitational pull and then hitting the moon's surface. So you can see the impact crater we have made there. If you want, you can have a good look at the crater that's been formed, throwing some of the debris outside of the area. Now, a pair of tweezers might also be useful here if your balls are quite small to take your, your meteor out. This is quite a deep hole that's been made. So what I can do now is use my ruler to then, this is quite a thin ruler, so that works quite well. So I could actually measure how deep my hole is and I can also, measure how wide my hole is as well. So depending how old you are, you might want to do that. You might just want to look at the shape and size and see what happens when you drop different things into your flower tray. So we could try a bigger ball this time and drop that. You can see why you need newspaper around now because I've made quite a lot of flour all over the desk here, but I've made quite a big impact crate with that ball. So again, I could measure how deep it is and how wide it is. And look for any other signs from this impact crater so it looks just like the moon. What science is going on in this experiment? We've got a rock flying through space full of energy. And in our experiment here, it's got gravitational energy or gravitational potential energy. So it's got the potential to do something. And the higher we lift it, the more gravitational energy we're giving it. There's one other thing that will also affect the gravitational potential energy in our experiment here is the mass, as we've already started to see. So the bigger the object, the more gravitational potential energy it's got. So if it's higher and bigger, it's going to have a lot of gravitational potential energy. Then when we let go of it, that is turned into kinetic energy. So it's moving. And so you're going to convert the amount of gravitational energy you've got into kinetic energy, which is then the ball or our meteor falling through space. And it's going to impact our surface of the moon here, which is our flower. And when it impacts that moon surface, that energy is again transferred into the surface it impacts. And we can see that energy transfer taking place because a lot of it is turned again into kinetic energy of all the flower or the moon rock moving in a very dramatic fashion. And there'd also be quite a lot of heat going on and a real meteorite impact as well. And that's again because of all the energy changes that are going on. So let's take this experiment further. We've made an observation that if we drop things into some flour, it can make some craters. But to turn this into a proper science investigation, you want to change one thing and measure one thing. So remember, you're only trying to change one thing at a time and then measure something else. So you don't want to use too many different balls, so you could change the type of ball you're using. But for example, these balls are almost the same size. So I'm not going to change the size of my ball, but I'm going to change the mass because this one is a ping pong ball, so it's very light, whereas this one is a rubber ball, so it's very heavy. And you can hear that with the sound they make. So I'm going to drop it from 30 and then I'm going to watch what happens? Oh, so we've got quite a big impact there going on. We've got flour all over the table and we've got a big crater. And then I'm going to do this next to each other for a good comparison. So then we've got 30 and this is our ping pong ball. So we're kind of trying to keep everything the same except for the mass of our ball in this experiment. And then we're going to drop it. Oh, <laughs> and you can see there quite a difference between the two craters we've made. So this one, you can then do some further calculations if you want. This is really good measuring. And if you want to, you could even work out the diameter and the surface area of the circle and all sorts of stuff. So this is nearly five centimetres wide, whereas this one is 
it's actually only three. And we could try and measure the depth width, which is a bit harder. This one looks like it's almost two and a half centimetres deep. And this one is barely even half a centimetre deep. So that's a really good comparison showing how when the ball is heavier and it's got more mass, it's going to have more energy contained within it, which is why then we're going to get a bigger crater, even when they're the same size. So now we're going to try out some shaving foam. So I've got shaving foam and I'm just going to spray some shaving foam into my tray. So this is a different moon surface. It might be more like the surface of Jupiter or Saturn maybe. I don't know because their planet's made out of gas. So maybe their surface of their planets is a bit more like this. And then I'm just going to get some cardboard to smooth that down with. So now we've got our flat planet surface and this is a totally different planet. It's not made out of flour now, it's made out of shaving foam and it smells quite different too. So this is a fun experiment for you to try at home. And then we're going to do the same again and see what happens now with our ball. So I've got my big long ruler here. Oh, <laughs> I think that hit the bottom of my shaving foam. Oh, but the impact crater, that's harder to see because the foam's almost pinged back into shape when I've pulled this out. So it looks a lot smaller than it did when I dropped this in the flower. But let's have a look and see. So yeah, it's only four centimetres wide this time. So that's interesting. It's a different kind of surface. So we've got a different impact from our crater there. And let's do the same with the ping pong ball. And wow! <laughs> that's amazing! The ping pong ball, oh, like doesn't can't even see any kind of impact. There's a slight smoothing maybe of the surface. I did not expect that. I thought it might still sink in. I didn't think it would stay completely flat. So that is really fascinating. So you can try this out as all sorts of different things and see what kind of impact they make. Maybe jelly might be a good one to try too. So you can have lots of fun recording your observations and doing some real science at home. Have lots of fun investigating and experimenting with impact craters. This is such a brilliant STEM experiment for you to try out. We love to see what you get up to. So do share your Twinkle findings. And we've got a Twinkle Home Educators Facebook group where you can share those. We look forward to seeing you again soon for more STEM fun. And wow! <laughs> That's amazing!